Welcome, welcome, welcome. In today's video, we'll be taking a, this is an update video of a multi-tool that I have carried. Haven't carried a lot lately, but I've carried it a ton, like a year and a half, like every day in a, for a year and a half. And then it sat for a few months and then it's off and on. And that multi-tool is the SOG Power Pint. I bring this up because right now, as of when I'm filming this video, and it might be a week or so down the road before you guys see this get posted, Lowe's Hardware has a small selection of SOG multi-tools and knick-knack gear. Specifically, the SOG Power Pint, $55. It's a little pricier there than it used to be. Prices have gone up over the last few years. Not much you can do about it. But if you're wanting to grab yourself a SOG Power Pint, Go to Lowe's Hardware and check that out. And what this little tool is, is in my opinion, SOG's best multi-tool. And this is a good multi-tool. I love this thing. My mom even likes it and she got one for herself. <laughs> and she's not big on knives, so that kind of tells you this is an interesting little tool here. And what this is, is just a... A small, not quite fifth pocket multi-tool, but almost there. It's kind of like halfway between fifth pocket and full size. But you get almost full size pliers with full size leverage. With the compound leverage bits there. And it's just so much power in one little multi-tool. I love this thing. I, I recommend it to anybody. And the main feature about this is up here in the head. You see that little cutaway? If you didn't know this about some of the SOG's uh, multi-tools, and it's even on the bigger ones, is that it's designed to hold full-dimensional quarter-inch bits. I usually stuff uh, a bit driver inside to have that extra reach, but standard bits do work. And a plus is I EDC, if I EDC this, I EDC the Leatherman ratcheting bit driver because that also works very well inside that tool. And you have the double-ended bit driving capacity of the bit driver. Don't have to use Leatherman bits. Uh, you can use normal quarter inch bits on that. I have a little bit of electrical tape wrapped around the tip here in case you need electrical tape. But this has just been a killer combo for me in my EDC. I carried this this way for so long. I carried just the tool here for six to eight months. And then like the next year, I carried it with that and the Leatherman bit kits. And it was just the fantastic little multi-tool. And then I got the Swiss tool from Victorinox and it kind of got kicked to the side a little bit. But I still carry it a lot. And if my voice sounds gnarly, um, I've got some mucus dripping down my nose and into my throat. You know how that sounds. So I apologize. But let's get into what this tool actually has. We have the pliers. And let's whip out a Leatherman, just for size comparison. Leatherman Free, very popular multi-tool. These are definitely smaller, but they have that similar capacity. You know, the... the Main plier section there is the same, like very similar all across the board. The wire cutting is what's maybe the little bit smaller, non-replaceable wire cutters, unlike the Leatherman here. And by the way, if you don't know, this is a modified P2 with the Shapeways flat bit interchangeable driver there. Very nice tool. Recommend getting one. Yeah, they're $50. I got mine basically for free. Um, but check that out. It's worth it. But here you have the bit driver actually on the tool. And I wish that would be done on more multi-tools. I just wish that would be a thing. Get the patents out of the way. That just needs to become a thing. That is just so handy to have a center down the middle bit driver. Even if you got to like hollow it out and it's off center on one head. That's just a great place to put it. And just, I wish they would do that. Just because you can pinch down on that, it's just fantastic. Needle nose, nut drivers, wire cutters, crimper here, which with the amplified leverage works really, really well, surprisingly. I have crimped wire connectors with this on 12 and 14 gauge wires. It works. The worst 
three tools on this, which I kind of wish that they would swap out for something else, but they are not necessarily bad in and of themselves. They do work quite well. I just prefer other tool sets because they aren't what I use. Can opener. Now, give between the two, bottle opener or can opener, I would rather have the can opener because you cannot use a bottle opener to open cans, but you can use a can opener to open bottles. That's a tongue twister. <laughs> but no flatheads like most multi-tool companies do. Like, it would be nice to have flatheads on here. If they had flatheads, I'd say go ahead and leave those on there. But I wish that these would be a different tool because I just don't use those all that much. They are great tools. I have used these on actual cans and bottles. They work. I just don't use them all that much. Nothing wrong with those. Up next, we have the Phillips driver. That's jumping out of the worst ones to show a good one here. That's a really good little Phillips driver for its size. It's a one, number one or zero Phillips driver. Fantastic. Love it. The scissors. I call them more of a snip and scissors because they cut stu uh, tougher stuff better than softer stuff. Unlike, you know, say the Leatherman free scissors which cut softer stuff better than hard stuff this cuts hard stuff better than soft stuff that's just weird but that's how it be they're good i love them i they're actually fantastic for uh trimming your nails you know manic self manicure they are really good for that so they're not useless by any stretch just could have been designed a little better but this is a small tool you work with what you got up next, we have the serrated blade. Now, this is fantastic. I have used this on a lot of stuff. Um, and what makes this serration better than most other serrations, in my opinion, is, yes, the serrations help add uh, pressure when cutting stuff to add more pressure, add more pounds per square inch to slice through something. But... You know, Leatherman and a lot of these companies make these things so sharp. Now, I've I've rounded these over because I like it this way. But when you get this tool and a lot of other companies and you get that serrated edge, with the exception of like Victorinox, these little mini parts here, the little tiny parts, are so pointy sharp that they snag more than they cut. And where the SOG power pint comes in is everything here was rounded and not like mishaps at the factory rounded like that was intentionally rounded and that just glides right through stuff this is fantastic for what you're trying to do and people complain i'm going to get this out of the way people complain that the tools on this are two-handed tools they are not you can actually f fan them out and pick out the tool that you want and Get your thumbnail under one of the other tools and close it up. And it's easier on this side because you have the this eyeglass driver here in the middle. But we open up, say, the file here and you want to close it. You don't have to open this up to push down on the lock to close that, which you can do one handed. But again, you can just skip that. And just lift up another tool that you can get your fingernail under and close it. And if it's a tool like, okay, I, you saw me use that when I was op uh, unlocking it to close the tools. Well, if that's out, just lift up outside like that and pop it over. Everything on this tool is one-handed. It's wonderful. This does not have magnetic retention like the free multi-tool does. If This will just kind of flop out and about, which is fine with me. As small as it is, it tucks, tucks away quite nicely. Um, but the next arm, we have a file, which not the most aggressive file, but not the worst file. And it has an edge file that works quite well, at least on mine. I know SOG's uh, quality control can be a little here and there, but that has been a, a game changer. I like to have knife, scissors, and file, and pliers in my EDC. And this little guy checks all the boxes then we have a Warncliffe blade here very sharp this i believe was a uh, 5cr or 8cr 13 mov i don't know it's been like three years since i've had this tool uh three three years since i bought this tool and i've done lost baggage <laughs> but very narrow tip 
stays sharp for the quality of steel that it is. Like, it stays sharper longer than you would think for this type of steel, which is surprising, given what it is. Uh, we have this little awl reamer here. I'm trying to get that out without stabbing myself in the fingers. Little reamer right there. Very sharp, very stiff, very good. And stiff in all the good ways, not stiff in like trying to open it. Stiff and like that is not going anywhere when you have it open and it's it's going to get the job done. Um, up next, the eyeglass screwdriver. It's not quite small enough for eyeglasses. It's almost there. It probably is. I haven't really tried it on glasses. I don't wear glasses or contacts. I have 50-50 vision. Hindsight's always 20-20, 50-50, chances in the future, whatever. I, I messed that joke up. Um, but that's, that is a really good little screwdriver. Love it. Gets way down in there. It's also, a, again, self-manicure. That's a good one to kind of get under the fingernails and get the dirt out. Very good. And then we have the gut hook slash flathead driver, which is weird because it's at such a weird heckin' angle, you know. That's just... I, you have leverage, it's just not conducive to how things work. But I've used that as a package opener so many times. I also use this to make fuzz sticks for all my chopsticks. That's just a great little knife, little piece for that. And these are not necessarily eyelet holes for sewing. I just think they're just skeletonizing it for weight. But those are the pliers, internal tools. We have a pocket clip on here with decent retention. Some are stronger, some are weaker. We have a lanyard hole here, which also works quite well. But that is the SOG power pint. Three years I've had this tool, almost. I think in like a couple months it'll have been three years that I've had this thing. And I cannot believe how good this is. I live in humid Mississippi. I have not really oiled this thing at all. There's barely any rust outside of like on the file and tiny flecks of rust where it's been hard used. And this thing has held up so well. And I have put this sucker under some stress where I could feel the scales and handles bending under, under my grip. And this thing has held up. And I know, I know, sometimes these things pop. And if they pop, I'm sorry. But this little guy has just been so good that I think it's worth the risk to buy this tool. It has just been so good. And it's been like my first really good multi-tool aside from uh, my Leatherman Curl. I had a Leatherman Way for about a month, but the screws came out on me and being security torques and me not being big on bit kits at the time, it was not good because I couldn't uh, fix it myself. So I returned it. It wasn't, it, it was a, it was a nightmare, but I got the curl a little while later. That was a great tool, but then I got this it, and this just, actually I got this before the curl. Now that I think about it, I had this before the curl. My memory's going. I'm only 27. <laughs> um, but yeah, I love this tool. This is really my first full-on multi-tool that was actually good. Not like a Walmart Ozark Trail wannabe thing. And since then, I've upgraded to the Leatherman Free P2, then to the Victorinox Swiss Tool X, which I carry every single day on my hip. I don't care what, what's going on. I've got that sucker on me. And this one does have pocket time now and then. I do usually keep it packed away in a go bag. Like if I got to pack and go real quick, this is going with me. Because it's just been a good tool to have. $55 at Lowe's as of the time I'm filming this. By the time the video comes out, maybe a week down, two or three weeks down the road since then. Probably will still have some. But when people start catching on that Lowe's has SOG stuff that'll probably sell out because it looks like a limited time thing not a constant thing that Lowe's is doing but if you if they're still there and you want one get one they're good thank you for watching this video if you liked it comment down below hit the like button spread the word around help my channel grow i'm trying to reach 1000 subscribers here um so 
Hope you found this video useful, informational, hope you found it entertaining, and until the next time, a farewell, carry well, and a bye-bye.